Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about ratios and we're going to be using basketball stats to help us develop a better understanding of what ratios are. A ratio is just a relationship between two amounts. So there's some sort of pattern or rule that you'll notice that will help you make predictions about larger numbers as well. So let me give you an example. So we're going to use three pointers, the ratio of three pointers made to three pointers attempted in a game. So how many did someone make versus how many did they try to attempt? So here's my stats. I made one three pointer and I attempted four. And there's different ways of writing this ratio. So I can write it like this, one to four, I can write it as a fraction, one fourth. So that makes sense. I made one fourth of those shots or one fourth of those shots made it in the basket. Or I can write it in a sentence. So one of every four shots made it in or one per four. There's a few different ways I could write that. And then I like to represent ratios in a graphic like this so that I can have a little bit of a better understanding of what's going on. And then also let's look at this table and be able to use this ratio to continue the table. So I want you to pause the video and see if you can complete this table. Okay, great work. Check my numbers out and see if they match yours. So I used that same ratio of one to four to fill in the rest of those blanks. And if you feel like this is pretty new to you and you'd like a little bit more support, I do have a good sixth grade video on ratios. Then you can jump back over here and watch this one too. Okay, so let's now look at these other stats to help us practice even more. So I looked up some stats for Steph Curry and his average um, ratio between made and attempted in the 23-24 season were five to 12. So that was just kind of a rounded average of made to attempted in a game. So I want you to see if you can write that ratio in those ways that I showed you on my stats. So see if you can write that ratio a couple different ways. Okay, you probably wrote it like that and as a fraction and then maybe in a sentence or two also. Okay, great job. Now let's see if you can fill in this table with that information, that same ratio of five to 12, can you complete this table with larger amounts? Okay, great job. So I really like this type of math because you can make predictions on, you know, if he were to attempt more shots, how many could we guess or predict that he would make? And this is going to be pretty accurate for his uh, abilities. Okay, now we're going to take a look at Luka Doncic and his ratios of made to attempts. So I looked at the same season, same stats. His average made to attempted is 4 to 11. And so once again, I want you to try to write that ratio in all the different ways that we've talked about. So pause the video and we'll come back and check your work in just a little bit. All right, I bet you did that way again, a fraction again, and maybe a couple of sentences. Okay, great job. Now, once again, we're gonna try to fill in this table using that same ratio and using patterns to complete the rest of this table. Okay, great job. Take a look at mine, see if your numbers match. And I think this has really given you a lot of good practice with ratios. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.